guys, Kelsey here inside of the butterfly biome here at the garden. I've got with me a bunch of zebra longwing caterpillars. So right here on this quirky stem passion vine, we have a good example. There's three of them right here. We should have about nine total throughout this whole trellis. Um, zebra longwing, they eventually will turn into butterflies, but they start off as eggs, actually, the eggs are laid on the leaves of the host plant. So this quirky stem passion vine is a really good example of a host plant for these caterpillars. You'll find eggs on the leaves, they're yellow. They can either be laid singly or in clusters in little groups. Once those eggs hatch, small, teeny tiny caterpillars smaller than these guys will hatch. And then basically their job is to eat as much as they can. So that's why this quirky stem it's such a good host plant. It's one of their favorite foods. So the caterpillars will eat um, and they'll molt five separate times until they eventually uh, pupate, turn into a chrysalis, and eventually turn into a caterpillar. Now this plant's really special for them because whenever they're eating, they're actually gaining um, toxicity from the plant. So in that case, um, whenever a predator might try to eat one of these caterpillars, um, it's toxic to them, so it's bad for the predator. Now their showy appearance, you'll notice that they have black spikes, white bodies, and black spots. Um, that kind of, those big black spikes, they tell predators that, hey, I'm toxic, I taste bad, you don't want to eat me. Um, and so that's kind of the purpose of that. It's been one week since we first received our zebra longwing caterpillars. And now that it's been one week, you might notice that there's a lot less leaves on this quirky stem passion vine. That's because they've been eating away at their host plant. So we have some caterpillars left, but now we have some that are turning into a J shape because they're about to crystallize. So what that means is you can see this guy right here is hanging in a J shape and they do that when they're done eating and they've already pupated five times. They hang from a stem or branch and they turn into that J shape. Their color also starts to change because if you've noticed what the caterpillars looked like prior, they were a bright, vibrant white color. And once they turn into the J shape, they start to change into about a yellow color. They then begin to chrysalize and we actually have a chrysalis right over here. And you'll notice that this chrysalis kind of looks like a dead leaf. And that's actually a camouflage mechanism that these caterpillars have in order to not become eaten by predators while they're in the chrysalis stage. So they will stay in this stage for about 12 days and then they will emerge into the beautiful zebra longwing butterfly. So stay tuned. Hey guys, really exciting news. So we have our first zebra longwing butterfly who emerged from his chrysalis today. Um, he spent about two and a half to three weeks as a chrysalis and then emerged today. He spent some time sitting there kind of pumping his wings up. They need to spend some time getting the blood flowing throughout their wings um, and just took flight for the first time. So you'll notice that we opened up the doors here so that he can fly out. And probably the first thing he's gonna go do is try to find some nectar and some pollen. You'll see that around on the edges, we have that blue porter weed that we mentioned. They have these small little purple flowers. It's a really popular um, source of nectar for these zebra longwing butterflies. Um, like we said earlier too, these are the Florida State butterfly and they are common throughout Florida. Although since Hurricane Irma came through, they have become less common in the Keys. So we're really excited to hopefully kind of try to repopulate them especially here in the garden because it's such a great um, environment for these guys to thrive. Um, they are pretty interesting. They actually live a lot longer than most butterflies live. And that's because whenever they collect nectar, they are also actually collecting and eating pollen, which is um, a source of more nutrients um, that kind of sustains them. So they'll actually stay alive for a few months compared to other butterflies who have a much shorter lifespan than that. So we're really excited here at the garden. If you want to come um, visit us and maybe spot a zebra longwing, let us know. And we have a lot more. We have about uh, six more here that hopefully will be emerging sometime this week as well.